We're just seconds away from getting this one started. And off we go from SoFi. He'll take this at the 10. And he's gonna make this to the 28 before going down. So out come the Giants, their first drive of the game coming up. Bringing them out to fourth overall pick, who unfortunately had that rookie season cut short at just four games. Good to have him back from Florida, Anthony Richardson. I don't think it's hyperbole to say that when Anthony Richardson came out of the draft out of Florida, he was the greatest all-around athlete we'd ever seen at quarterback. 240 pounds, running 4'4", jumping 40 inches. He was the envy of defensive ends and linebackers that couldn't put up those numbers. Now, it's taken all those athletic traits and squeezing them into the quarterback position, maximizing all that physical talent to become the superstar he can be. As a defense, you gotta see the pass. You gotta time up your hit, and you gotta jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. Richardson now on second and 10. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Just watching from the booth, that looked like a last resort to go take that check down. He wanted to push the ball down the field, but there was nowhere to go. He looked shorter, and this defense is ready to make it. Chargers bringing the pressure, and they got him! And the defense comes through, and that's gonna back him up and bring up fourth down. Every defense in this league is gonna sign up for a three and out to begin a ball game. But to send him off the field, to really add that extra tone setter by backing him up with a sack, well, that's the cherry on top of that three and out. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And he's gonna set him up with a pretty short field here, Brock, after getting a big chunk on that return. Found his way through most of the kicking team. He picked up 25 on that return. And the Chargers take possession. So now we'll get a look at the other offense as the Chargers take the field. And leading them out in his 13th season out of Michigan State is Kirk Cousins. Well over a decade it started in this league, and Kirk Cousins put up some prolific numbers. The thing that's eluded him, despite all the stats, are those playoff opportunities and those marquee postseason victories. I think Kirk, his family, and everybody rooting for him hopes the final chapters of his career will contain some of those. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Here's the first carry for Christian McCaffrey. By a man, and now he's in the clear. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. I'll tell you what, kid, one of the things I'm most proud of coming on the broadcast are my O-line buddies that will hit me up during a game and say thank you. Thank you for finally showing some love and giving some light to what those big boys are doing up front. And he will score. Touchdown, Los Angeles. The Chargers get a perfect start. They've gone up 6-0. Marvin Harrison Jr. with the touchdown. Well, Brock, they could prove me wrong, but I don't think touchdowns are going to come that easily the rest of this game. But starting out, we all welcome the quick score. Yeah, not a lot of energy exerted, right? Not a lot of their cards shown just yet. They only got a couple plays into their strategy, and they found pay dirt. A lot of mystery still to come with what they're going to do schematically. A lot of answers have to be found defensively. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. The Chargers kicking team is out, and they'll put a charge into this one. Brings in the kick at the nine. And he gets crunched by a big hit right at the 25 to end that return. They're out and set, first and ten. The Giants taking the field for their second possession. And they haven't gotten very far into their opening script yet, have they? This is three and out to begin this game. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. From the gun, McCaffrey. And he takes a shot near the marker, but it looks like he still has enough for that first down. Oh, 
They stick with McCaffrey. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few. He got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. On second down, here's McCaffrey. And he gets absolutely pumped to end that one. Welcome back. We'll begin this second quarter with the Giants in possession. They're looking at third and very long. Looking for Chargers bringing the pressure, and they got him. And the defense comes through to back them up ahead of fourth down. Even from the booth, Kate, I can hear it. I can hear that front seven telling the guys on the back end, hey, all I need is a couple seconds of lockdown from you guys. I'm going to get to this QB. You promise that you deliver? And that's exactly what they did. Wasted no time in getting that sack. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. Starts his return from the 23. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Chargers and Marvin Harrison Jr. set for this next possession. So the Chargers start off with good field position as they get ready for first and 10. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Second and six coming up here. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. Cut by Diggs. Has room down the left sideline. And he will score. Touchdown, Los Angeles. The Chargers grow their lead just before halftime. It's a Stephon Diggs touchdown. Patterson on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Chargers kicking team is out, and they'll put a charge into this one. Here's a return from the seven. This return makes it up to the 25. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hop. Defense is too much here. The Chargers drag him down. All right, here we go. Second down. Another try following the sack. Pressure's there, and he goes down again. Not a good spot to punt from. They really want to convert here on third. And they don't get the snap away in time. This is going to move them half the distance. Delayed game. Everyone was set and at the line. The quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hit zero. Still third down. Backed up now after the penalty. It's third down. Running it after the penalty. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. The Giants are set to punt. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. Taken from the 49. He picks up 16 on the good return. And the Chargers will be set up with some great field position here. They're set up at the 35 now. On first and 10, it's Cousins. And no luck there. That throw falls to the ground. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. Gets this one to Harrison. And he will score. Touchdown, Los Angeles. The Chargers get more points to end the lopsided first half. Marvin Harrison Jr. with the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. 
three drives, three touchdowns. It has been wash, rinse, repeat for them offensively, Brock, as, well, we all wait for this defense final little backbone before this becomes a runaway. Yeah, I'm a little torn up here in this booth because you're exactly right. Offensively, this is just machine, surgical. Defensively, you're running the risk of being embarrassed here pretty quickly. The Chargers kicking team is out, and they'll put a charge into this one. Has this at the six. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. Beginning a new drive here, but just 16 seconds to go before halftime. Looks like they'll play it safe with a run to the outside. And he'll find the space he needs to get this up to the 25-yard line. Second and six coming up here. They'll stick with the ground game here. And he has a decent gain on what's going to be the final play of the half. That's halftime of this contest. We'll join both teams in taking it. Dealing with some time constraints, it seems. We'll bypass halftime and get right back to the action. Well, that first half, certainly an interesting one. Kate Scott, Brock Heward with you as we get back and see what the second half has in store for us. His return reaches that 34-yard line before he stopped. Here come the Chargers for their first drive of the second half. And eventually, Brock, one of their drives is going to fail to reach that end zone. But through three possessions so far, that's complete inside the 35. And he will score. Touchdown, Los Angeles. The Chargers grow the lead coming out of halftime. Marvin Harrison Jr. with the touchdown. His third through the air this game. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just gotta ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you gotta win right from the jump. Uh -huh. and you gotta protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up. You can find pay dirt. The Chargers kicking team is out, and they'll put a charge into this one. His return starts at the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They'll start the second half with McCaffrey. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. Toss to the right side. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. I talked to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space Defense is too much here. The Chargers drag him down. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Hunting unit out now. Ethan Evans, the one to kick it away. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. Punt meets him at the 28. Brushes him off with ease. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So the Chargers start off with good field position as they get ready for first and ten. Out of the gun, Cousins. Got a man, McCaffrey has it. Kid, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. And one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. Five men in the secondary for the G-men now, ahead of third down. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. This is complete to Schultz. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Down the middle, complete. And he will score. 
touchdown, Los Angeles. The Chargers blowing them out now, 34 zip. It's a Stephon Diggs touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period, end of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. The Chargers kicking team is out, and they'll put a charge into this one. That's going to be taken in at the 8. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. This is our last play of the quarter. They'll start this one on the grab of McCaffrey. And they will stop him at the line on what proves to be the final play of this third quarter. Thankfully, only one quarter to play now. We've reached the end of three in this lopsided affair. The Giants have it to start the fourth in a game that seems pretty far out of reach. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. We had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Working from the gun, it's Richardson. Complete beyond the marker. And what a hit there. Ouch, she pays the price for moving the chains that time. First and ten from the 41. Back to throw, here's Richardson. This ball's cut by McCaffrey. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. It may not look like much on the stat sheet, but this is kind of good on good. An offense gets a completion, not going backwards. And the defense, well, they rallied, they pursued, and kept that screen to a minimal gain. The ball's out. The ball's out. He lost it. Oh, heads-up play from the Giants there. They get to the loose ball and make the recovery. So a crisis averted a moment ago, but their reward, a really tough third down here. Just got it away before the hit, but it doesn't matter. It's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. They'll bring out the punter here. And he's going to do the honors for the fourth time today. Ooh, it's away, but he knows he missed it, that one. Headed for the sideline. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. Drive starts out with a first and ten. On the ground to begin the drive with McCaffrey. And he sneaks this through the middle, maybe a gain of two. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Going run again with McCaffrey. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. On third and short, McCaffrey has the first, but wants more. He's past the 45. 20, 15. And the scoring will never end. It's another touchdown. The Chargers continue adding to an insurmountable lead. Christian McCaffrey, the touchdown. So an exclamation point there. That caps off what, and I think you'd agree, Brock, has been a dominating performance. Yeah, I would, really in all phases, too. You know, I thought yeah. coming in that this would be a much closer game than how it's turned out to be. And you gotta get credit where it's due. This offense has been outstanding throughout. Mm -hmm. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Chargers kicking team is out, and they'll put a charge into this one. Starting from the five. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Giants about to get to work on offense. 
And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. You know, Kay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And, man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. Rolling left, buying some time. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. On the shotgun, it's Richardson. He's on the move. And they'll stand him up and sit him down at the line. Third and a lone yard coming up. Richardson back to throw. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Deron Bland has it. And the Chargers get the football back inside the 45-yard line after the interception. Hey, listen, when you're throwing down the middle of the field, you have got to be crystal clear in your vision. There are so many defenders that can get into those zones. That might be a case of the QB there trying to do a little bit too much and certainly didn't see the defender who comes up with the big interception. The Chargers are headed back out on off. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. They'll try it right with McCaffrey. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Timeout called by the Chargers. They're first. They've got first down from the 31. Trying an inside give now with McCaffrey. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. McCaffrey trying to punch it in. And stop me if you've heard this before, Brock. They've scored again, and they grow that lead further. The Chargers are running them out of the building. Christian McCaffrey, the touchdown. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you're instantly thinking of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Chargers kicking team is out, and they'll put a charge into this one. This return starts at the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. This undoubtedly the final snap of what's already a decided contest. One final shot here. 